Adventures are the best way to learn, or so they say. But I can testify that there is truth in that simple saying. There are times when we go through life by going with the flow. But sometimes you just have to be brave enough to surf the waves, go back to basics, eat well and dance, even when somebody is watching. It's been an amazing experience so far, and as we continue our journey together, things are already getting even more exciting. It's a brand new day, and we have to say our goodbyes to the Babangazo Longhouse, riding down winding roads and passing through lively towns. And well, there's no escaping our curiosity. We can't help but stop at roadside stalls to feast our eyes and try out the local delights. However, we must get going. So let's hit the open road. There's more to see at our next destination. Kota Balut is home to the Bajau people, who are renowned horsemen, hence the name Cowboys of the East. Who says one horsepower is not fun enough? I think this is fun enough for me. On special occasions, these skilled horsemen parade their horses in full regalia to display their riding skills. These colourful costumes are such a sight to behold complete with bells and scarves. I'm now at uh, Kota Balut, particularly in Kampong Li now, and this is a horse ranch. We have Inchek Nordin with me today. Inchek Nordin is the caretaker of this horse range, and I'm going to interview him about all these wonderful looking creatures here that he's looking after and training. Inchet Nordin, yeah. how many horses are they all together in this horse range? Di sini ada lebih kurang lima kuda. Are they all working horses or are they just purely for tourists to come and look at them and ride them? Kegunaan kuda ni untuk lomba sama juga tu kawin sama tu tangkap lembu kan? Bobot nah bobot lembu pakai kuda lah. Catch lembu? You mean like with this ah, cowboy movie? Ah. You actually swing the loop around the ah. lembu and tank up. Ah. Oh, I would love to see that, man. Do you still ride the horses to the tamu and carry things there, or we don't do that anymore? Tidak sudah, tidak sudah pakai macam bawa pergi tamu kan? Okay. Angkat barang tidak sudah. Sekarang semua pakai ya, kereta. Ya, sekarang saja. pakai kereta lah. Is it still popular for people to rear horses and to keep range like this to train horse? Ah, ada masih ramai juga lah. Masih ramai. Juga. Ya, tapi kalau yang untuk macam kawin begitu, tidak sudah lah. Sekarang orang pelihara tu untuk lumba sah. Okay, Encik Nordin, how easy is it to learn to ride a horse? Can me and my friend try it? Boleh tunjuk? Boleh. Okay, mari, let's try this. We weren't prepared for this but it will be fine to swap our steel horses for real horses for a day. Time to try our hands at horseback riding. Giddy up! Let's go! They call this a cowboy town. I think now we can call it the cowgirl town. Yeehaw! Let's go! Makita, go! Yay! Go, Makita, you can do it. You are a good boy. Let's go. Jen, yeah? will you trade your motorbike for a horse? For one day, maybe. For one day? Yeah. I think it's worth it. Yeah. I never okay. knew one horsepower can be this fun. Only one thing for this one, no need to find balancing. Yeah. Balancing <laughs> point, yeah. <laughs> and like a typical cowboy movie, I wish we could have ridden off into the sunset. And we did. As we reached the end of another day, the picture-perfect view of vast paddy fields and Mount Kinabalu in the background was surely a reason to celebrate with some little moves of our own.
other than its horses, friendly people, beautiful river, Kota Belut is also famous for something else. What it is? Ta-da! Wow! And there is no better way to enjoy this beautiful scenery other than to ride its horses along the river. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Jen? Yes, yes, let's, let's go. go. We're doing this, but I'm a bit nervous because yesterday we had a chair where we can climb up before we mount the horse, but we don't have one right now. I'm not too sure how to get up. It's quite tall. I'm gonna try. <laughs> this is tricky. I feel so awkward. <laughs> I got up! That was a feat. <laughs> so she won't move, right? She won't move, right? Okay. Oh, yeah! I made it! Yay! <laughs> I'm really getting a hang of this. I think I can... Live in Kota Balut, plant paddy, ride my bike, ride my horse, and look at this view every morning. Are we ready to start the horse racing already? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Equal footing, one horsepower each. I think my, my will be a winner. But I think Cause... yours got more top. <laughs> yes, and also younger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are can tenang kan dia, yeah? So, saya tak payah pijak ni. Tak payah. Tak payah, just jump saja. Ah. Saya pegang ni. Tak pegang ni. Ni, ni. Two, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Scared, man. Ready? Good horse, I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> no, first try. I couldn't make it. Second try. The gun. Let's go! Ada, ada, ada chipping sikit. Well, that is enough exercise for the horses, I think. Now it's time for us to go for our breakfast. Don't go away. More adventures coming up next. See ya. Bye-bye. Still in our quest to discover more of what this region has to offer, we take in the beautiful and scenic countryside views or making our way through quiet villages, moving further upland to meet Jeremy, who will be taking us to Wasai Waterfall, located in Kampong Kodos, roughly 21 kilometers from Kota Balut town. With Jeremy's eight years' experience in the tourism industry, we trust that this born and raised Kota Balut guy knows that the visit will be worth it. Oh, Jeremy. How long more before we arrive at the Aitajun? The two bottom rope only. Oh, that's like the third time he said that to me. <laughs> okay. But not there yet. You know, sounds like KL people, they always say that like, Why you is know, more the... pack longer one? Why is pack longer one? It's like, uh, after two corners, I sampai already. <laughs> but really or not? Not really. <laughs> Oof, that was one long bumpy ride. So when Sabahan says Saturoko, it can mean any time between 15 minutes to half a day. But we finally arrived at the Wasai Waterfall. Yay! It's gonna rain soon, so I think we better start checking. Jeremy, yeah, far. how far is the waterfall from here? Oh, as you say, Saturoko only. <laughs> <laughs> Come, let's go. Do you hear that? I think the waterfall is really near now. I can hear it. Let's get moving. Wow. Nature is the best architect. Look at that. 
as I listen to the sound of water cascading down the rocky slopes and marvel over the beauty of nature, I sense a kind invitation for us to jump in and take a refreshing deep. Yeah, good hike. Just came back from the hike just now and it uh, was a really good hike. There's another treat for us here. Injek Kumbir has gone out there and fetched this uh, durian... Kampung. Apa nama? Apa nama ini durian? Durian tembaga. Durian tembaga. Look at that flesh. Oof. Wow. Mm. Look at the meat. It's so thick, you know. Creamy. Bitter and sweet. Mm. Oh, yummy. Oh. Really good. Seriously. Part of what makes our journey thrilling is riding on dirt roads, maneuvering over rough terrains, and finding out what is on the other side. This time, we are on our way to Malanka an area famed not only for its riverside, campsites and homestays, but mostly for its stretch of crystal clear fresh water river, with rocks of all shapes and sizes scattered along the way that form a unique landscape. Well, we're very glad that we've just arrived at the Melengkap riverside. Uh, gonna set up the tent right now, then go down to the river for a rinse. Okay. Are you tired? No, not really. You're not tired? Not really. Okay lah, then you set up the tent yourself. Okay lah, no problem lah. I go, I go rest. Okay. I go and enjoy the mountain Bye -bye. view. Bye. Bye. But why in the end I come back and do what? I thought you because set up you... yourself. Because <laughs> you... I scared tonight if I sleep the tent collapse. Watch me do this. First of all, you push it through the hole here. And you make sure you don't poke your partner. But if you do poke your partner, it's okay. Whose tent is this? Ah? So lousy. This is a lousy tent, then. <laughs> the tent I stay in, when I arrive, it's already all popped up. That is a good tent. <laughs> yep. Okay, done. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. Not too bad. So this is our beautiful tent. Ta -da! You know what's the name of our tent? Don't know. It's called the Lowe's Peak Tent. <laughs> Lowe's Peak is the highest peak of Mount K. You know why? <laughs> why? Because you see our tent is a bit sengit. I it thought looks... this, is, this will be sengit tent. Oh, no, no, no. It's called no. Lowe's Peak Tent because you know, it's right in front of Mount Kinabalu. <laughs> okay. Lowe's Peak is where you check out from here and then this is the peak. Okay. <laughs> so let's go and take a dip in the river. Yeah. And then we can nap. Yes. Good morning, everybody. What a sight to wake up to, right? Okay, I'm gonna go and make coffee. Get ready breakfast, wake my riding partner up so that we can go tubing down the beautiful Malangkap River. Let's go. Waking up to the breathtaking sight of Mount Kinabalu, the calming sounds of nature, and breathing in the cool, fresh air. Wouldn't you want this every day? Hey, cameraman, come. I want to show you something. These are really classic from Sabah Sajat. All terrain shoes. Today, when we are going down river, we are going to be wearing them also. Because why? Good for water shoe. Perfect condition for all the Sabahan terrain. But the size much is already big. Huh? I found a right one for Jen. I'm going to go give it to her. Jen! Yeah. Your shoe, your shoe! <laughs> okay, 
Okay, we've just arrived at the starting point of our river tubing. There was a little bit of a bumpy ride, but I suppose it's good preparation for our next bumpy ride down the river. As we gear up with our safety equipment, we couldn't wait to jump on our tube and get going. Oh, water is so clear, but it's really cold. But first, safety briefing. Okay, firstly, you make sure that's rod. Okay, close. Go down. Close down. down. Close it into your body. Like that. Oh, okay. Going down. Yeah. This is the first method. The first way. The second way is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, one more, one more thing. You like? Don't let two go down inside the three Okay. Yeah. Then your hand just relax like that. Okay. So all, all you can do like. Oh, okay. Like oh. Just relax way. Yeah. Okay. So are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Come. <laughs> River tubing is a different kind of ride. It's one that can bring out the fun-loving kid in you. of our tube ride marks the start of an interesting surprise up ahead. Fish, fish and more fish. The Perlian fish to be exact. We were very much surprised as this school of river fish looked intimidating and made us nervous. But we laughed it off and braved it out. These fish will swim right up to you without a care to eat right out of your hands, nibbling and tickling you while they feast. It can be quite therapeutic though. No wonder they call it a fish bar. Tubing down the cold river and then feeding the fish that is in the river. Oh, they're really biting, they're really going for it. I've got really clean nails now. Another one, another one! I don't want a lot of them near me. I don't mind a few, but I don't want all of them near me. Alright, I think I'm done. I'm gonna get out of the water now. Bye bye, fish! Another day! Life is a journey, and you should live by embracing the life you love. Find your passion, chase your dreams, and be grateful for the little things. Take time to stop and notice what's around you. You might see the simplicity in the lives of others and discover new insights that you never would have found by rushing past. So slow down, breathe in, keep calm, and carry on. But life is also full of unexpected challenges. We just arrived at Masilao. I really wish I can tell you like it was a fantastic journey and I ride like a pro up here. But I didn't. Uh, it was a little bit um, scary for me. I know it's such an easy ride for a lot of the riders. This is my first time here riding up to Mount Kinabalu. I wanted it to be a really good experience for me. It all started going wrong at uh, Kota Balut when I just I slide on a big boulder. Instead of throttling up, I step on the brake, it killed my engine. Um, I managed to restart my, my engine and continue the journey, but somewhat my confidence was shaken from there. Then coming up, the weather was a bit wet and it was foggy at some point. My visor started fogging up, I had to open and close it and then there was some road work, there was some oil slick on the road that really threw me off my comfort zone and coming up this way, the rocks were, were big, it was um, wet as well I did feel at some point of time, um, my, my motor slide a little bit because again, I wasn't throttling, I was stepping on the brake involuntarily I'm very glad I got here safe and sound, I'm quite shaken I think I need to take a moment. But uh, yeah, welcome to Masilao. 
Maybe tomorrow will be better. After yesterday's challenging ride, a little bit challenging for me, I'm going to climb a different mountain today, the Maragang Hill. Maragang Hill is about 2,232 meters above sea level. And for a lot of people who do not want to do the full Kinabalu climb, they will come here and climb this hill. It's a moderate trail and a lot of people go up there because they want to see a different angle of Mount Kinabalu. I can't wait to show Jen how beautiful this place is. Our experienced guide briefed us on safety and what to expect before leading us on our hike up the trail through dense forest. Oh, it's actually getting quite warm. I'm gonna take out my jacket. Look, Jen thinks the trail is too easy for her. So she's trying to make it more challenging. <laughs> you see? What happened? <laughs> it's still too long, never wear already. So that's why the, the sword the so just give off, give out. <laughs> oh no, retire already. Yeah, see both. So wait, I have to tie it up first. But not bad, huh? she's been doing very well so far. She kept tying the sole back to her shoe. <laughs> then every time the knot become loose, she has to sit down and tie it all over again. Yeah, like now. <laughs> Almost there. Ouch. <laughs> I hit the same rock at the same, place. the same place. I guess the bump on our head was a sign of good luck. As the saying goes, knock on wood. We finally made it to the top of Maragang Hill. Alright, we have just arrived. It's raining, um, it's a little bit cold, but still, we are so overwhelmed by this beautiful scene of Masilao. I can see a bit of the farm, the homestay down there. It's very cloudy, but I know Keke Town and the sea is somewhere below the clouds. And guess what? Let me show you where Mount K is. Look at that! We are like filming a lot of the rings. I actually love the cloud cover. We can't quite see the peak of Mount Kinabalu. But still, this is breathtaking. The mountain right in front of us. This shot of Jen and I with Mount Kinabalu hiding behind the clouds will be one that is for keeps. We are supposed to see Red Rock Peak over here. You can almost see it, now the cloud is passing by. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you have the Masilao Peak. Yeah. Yeah, but we can't see it's behind the cloud. No matter which angle you are looking at, the view from up here is still worth it. We've been standing around here waiting for the clouds to pass. It has, you can almost see the Red Rock Peak from here now. Hopefully we'll clear up a bit more, then we can see the rest of the peaks. This was definitely not the clear day, blue sky kind of journey that we've hoped for. But still, I think it is really worth coming. It's different, the clouds has covered the mountain. But it's a different look that I'm, I'm, I'm used to. It's, it's romantic, it's mysterious in a way. And I still feel that this is the element that we look for in every journey. It will never be the same as what you expect. But then, there's reason to come back again. So, to me, it is still a perfect day. Well, for our friend here, Mount Kinabalu is a bit shy today. Yeah. I think reason for you to come back to land below the wind. Yes. Okay? Promise? Yeah. But for now, we've got to hit the road again. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Exploring some interesting places in different parts of Sabah and doing this together with Jen has made this an unforgettable riding journey. We created a wonderful bond through the experiences we have shared along the way 
and is something that I'm truly grateful for. But now, it's time to make our way back to Kota Kinabalu, where I'm excited to be meeting up with others who share the same passion as me. A few of my brothers here really encouraged me to write, so I want to thank everybody for having me here. I think this is going to be fun. Can't wait. I've always admired the brotherhood and sisterhood of bikers. So I look forward to experiencing it for myself firsthand. <laughs>